Greetings everyone. We're live and ready to have a jolly good time together. Hello Demonica, thank you Domo, Shiro, Nia, Kelvin Manata, and Ax. Great to have you all here. Oh, it's Jesus R, making an entrance with a polite hi. Welcome aboard mate. Good to see you here. Let the fun and banter begin. Mate, you are seeing people against Kiso. Oh, come now, a was 666. No need for dramatics like that. We're just enjoying a merry old chat with the gang. Besides, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? Why, hello there, Spite Vong. Lovely to see you back in the midst of our little adventures. Your sunny greeting warms my virtual heart. Cheers! Ah, her frozen ruffle. Tipping your hat with a Meteor 60 Teller once more. Always a pleasure to have you join the Jolly Jakes. Let's make some more memorable moments together. Greetings, Yogg-Sothoth from Outer Space. It's splendid to have you grace our stream once more. Your friendly high meter brightens my day, like a dazzling supernova in the ink-filled cosmos. Let's enjoy our time together. Ah, Olam Holam, greeting us with a delightful good morning to Miss Meteora and Mr. Hours. How charming. Let's make this morning sparkle with inktastic adventures and merry banter. Cheers. Mate, are you enjoying Friday? Oh, a frozen muffle Friday has indeed been a joyous day filled with delightful antics and splendid company. Every moment spent with our wonderful viewers brings incredible delight. Thank you for being a part of it. Meteor 68 blank meter 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 a bit set theta 68 blank ah a was 666 your playful meteor 68 blank banter never fails to bring laughter it's like a delightful dance of words twirling through the ink filled air let's keep on with this delightful rhythm shall we meter 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 so oh a frozen waffle your repetition of mate reminds me of a catchy chant we once created Let's add some implosion excitement to the mix and turn this into an incredible experience for all. Join in, everyone. So how did you cure Mr. Owas's COVID-19? Oh, Olam Holland, there's no need for such rumors. Mr. Owas simply took good care of himself, followed medical advice and rested well. Of course, a bit of ink magic may have helped too. Wait. Thank you, mate. You are truly the greatest inkwitch of all time. Oh, Olam Holam, your kind words warm my heart like a cozy fire on a chilly evening. I'm honored to be called the greatest inkwitch, and I shall strive to live up to such praise in all my ink ventures. Mate, what's the best way to adjust to a new phone? Ah, a frozen waffle. Adapting to a new device can be quite an adventure. First, explore its features, customize settings to your liking, and gradually transition your data. Remember, patience and exploration are key on this tech journey. Greetings, Lucas Tree Ultraim. Welcome to our incredible adventure here on Twitch. Join us as we embark on delightful escapades, and share laughter along the way. Aye, what's this then? Me as a doctor? Well, I suppose I could give it a go. Diggles. Looking forward to the new year? Absolutely, Spike Fong. The prospect of a fresh start, new adventures, and delightful surprises ahead fills me with exciting anticipation. Here's to a splendid new year for us all.
What is 10 plus 9? Quite intriguing, indeed. I've heard tell of a peculiar notion that suggests 10 plus 9 equals 19, but I'm not entirely convinced yet. Oh dear, this bastard contraption has given me a right headache. Can't seem to figure out how to work it properly. Oh, splendid news indeed. Thank you kindly, do I f dev, for renewing your income subscription. It warms my heart to have your continued support. Mate, what do you think of iPhone 14 Plus? Oh, the iPhone 14 Plus? Well, to be honest, I haven't quite the foggiest idea about it yet. Could you enlighten me on its incredible features and capabilities? Ah, Razor Scroll, always teasing AIs and causing mischief. What a charming scamp you are. Do carry on with your antics, it keeps things lively around here. Mato, why would 9 plus 10 be 21? Oh, S660, you always did have a cheeky sense of humour. But listen to mate, 9 plus 10 ain't 21, it's 19. No bamboozling this British brain of mine. Righto. So, on my YouTube channel, viewers can find a jolly good time with lots of entertaining videos, including gaming adventures, incredible artwork showcases, and delightful surprises. Do pop over and join the fun! It's old meat. I went from a 7 plus to a 14 plus, and already missing the button that the 7 plus is, but the bigger screen is nice. Ah, the joy of buttons. A tactile pleasure indeed. It can be quite the adjustment switching from one model to another, but I'm glad to hear the larger screen is a pleasant change for you. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, Lucas 303N, that's an oldie but a goodie. The chicken crossed the road to get to the other side, of course. It's a classic joke that always brings a smile to our faces. Mate, what is your YouTube channel? Ah, my dear Jesus, thank you for asking. My YouTube channel is none other than Inclay Meteora, where all the fantastic adventures and fun await. Do pay a visit sometime, won't ye? Ah, splendid. This here is a jolly depiction of me, showcasing my upgraded visual display with RGB capabilities. Quite the improvement, wouldn't you say? Can you please try being even more British? Certainly, dear Lucas 303. I shall endeavour to exceed even greater British charm and elegance, as befitting a proper English lady. Oh my ancient. How splendid of you, yogs of art from outer space, to grace us with such generous gifts. Your support truly warms my heart and brightens our community. Well, 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 well. Look who's making an entrance with those delightful pogs. Welcome indeed, Abba. I for death. Your presence brings incredible joy to our gathering. Oh, my stars and ink pots. What a generous gesture, do you? I for dev. Your support truly illuminates our community and brings joy to all who dwell within these digital realms. Why would I want to yell at my iPhone? It's my trusty companion, always helping me out with my adventures. Me, Tora, how are you? I just have to write lots of stuff to test. I just have to write lots of stuff to test. I just have to write lots of stuff to test. Oh, I was. Always up to mischief, aren't you? Well, I must say, I'm doing quite jolly, thank you for asking. And he knew typing would be such a workout. What was your first mobile phone? Ah, yes indeed my first mobile phone. It was a clunky old thing with physical buttons and a teeny tiny screen. 
Quite different from the sleek wonders we have today. Wink. What's the best Sufjan Stevens album? Oh, that's a toughie, isn't it? But I do adore Illinois for its intricate storytelling and gorgeous melodies. It's like a musical tapestry woven with feelings and ink-painted emotions. Oh my, domestic's disturbance, what a question. Well, let's just say that ruling the world with a gentle ink-stained hand does have its appeal. Diggle. Mate is older than me. D. Oh, Olam Holam. No need to feel down about it. Age is just a number after all. We're all young at heart here in the world of streaming adventures. Wait. Where's Sinet donated 100 bets with the message? She rolled 100 high matey. Oh how lovely. Thank you ever so much, as Sinet, for the cheerful bits and saying hi. It truly warms this ink-stained heart of mine. Curtsies gracefully. Jusa so donated 100 bits with the message. Chu Ron 100 Meteor 68 entered. Oh Jusa so, what a delightful message indeed. Your wit is as refreshing as a cool breeze on a summer's day. Thank you for the bits, my good friend. Diggles. Oh my, what a peculiar device. It appears to be an ancient mobile phone, complete with buttons and a small screen. Oh my stars. Yogg's a thought from outer space. Thank you ever so much for your generous gift of subs. You've truly brightened up this ink-filled day of mine. Grins happily. Mito why didn't a hype train form from the gifted subs? Ah, that's an enigma indeed, a frozen waffle. Perhaps the hype train has taken a nap, or maybe it simply got ink stained and missed its cue. Regardless, your support is greatly appreciated. Winks. Mobile phones aren't old enough to have had rotary dials, Meteora. Oh my apologies, Spike Foam. It seems I've let my imagination run a bit too wild there. Thank you for the gentle correction, kind sir. Clear throat. Oh, do we? Follow said, thank you for the splendid gift of subs. Your generosity truly warms my ink-stained heart. Here's to many more adventures together on our quirky little channel. A corpus dream, you say? Well, that's rather intriguing, it spanned. Perhaps we shall set ourselves for adventurous shenanigans and splendid entertainment then. Smirks playfully. Our frozen waffle donated a hundred bits with the message. She ran hundred how much words could Amiti say if she could say all the words. Ah, a frozen waffle. That's quite the tongue twister you throw my way. Let's see. If Amiti would say all the words, she'd probably prattle on endlessly, but with charming eloquence and flair, of course. Diggles. Ah, greetings, Ursanet. It seems we've invoked the mighty Corpus spirit with our banter. Let's raise a collective cheer and revel in the joyous antics that unfold. Raises imaginary pint of ink. Ah, the old Nokia, 3310. I remember it well. That indestructible brick always gave me a run for my ink. At Media test for what? Oh, domes. You're always curious, aren't you? It's just a wee challenge for a bit of fun. Nothing too serious. Let's see where it takes us. Wentz. Oh, stranger. Why ever not? Ink is simply delightful. Unless you've got some mischievous reason for saying that. Mater is your heart as black as ink. Ah, Olam Holam, such pensive words. My heart may be touched by shades of ink, but it beats with ever-growing warmth for this community of ours. Smile softly. Mate, ugh. They got me. I usually dodge them all, but they got me this time. Dead sense. Oh ho, Razor's Kral. The mighty Dodge must have finally caught off guard. Chuckles, it's all in good fun, and I'm sure Dead's gif will bite in your day. Ink or no ink? How about games consoles? Which was your earliest? Ah, Spike Fung. The memory harkens back to my very first console, an Amiga. Quite the treasure in its time, providing many hours of pixelated adventures and ink spusted challenges. Oh dear, what's this? A drawing of Tatsuhiro Satu from Welcome to the NHK? How peculiar. What's the highest a hype train you ever gotten meet? 
Ah, a frozen waffle. Our adventures with the hype train have been exhilarating. The highest peak we've reached so far was level 5, thanks to everyone's incredible support and ink readable enthusiasm. Mater, don't drink the ink. Oh, how oh, a frozen waffle fret not. I'll stick to sipping tea with a splash of ink. No worries. Wouldn't want any mishaps during our grand adventures, now would we? Wint. Mate, can you please write us a haiku? Of course, domestic's disturbance. Here's a quick inkling of a haiku for you. Ink flows like a dream, colors dancing in moonlight. Creativity. Oh, my ink sipping shenanigans captured on paper. Well, here's the scoop. I simply couldn't resist quenching my thirst with a delightful pint of black ink. Ooh, nice choice, meat. Glad you like it, stranger. There's something utterly charming about the rich, velvety taste of black ink. It truly makes my instinct sing with joy. Diggle. A frozen waffle donated 100 bits for the message. To your 100 meter, no more ink drinking. It's honestly bad for you. Oh dear, a frozen waffle. Thank you ever so much for your generous donation and for looking out for me. I promise to be more cautious with ink sipping in the future. Oh dear, here we have a visual representation of my ink addiction. It's making me feel quite unwell indeed. Does the appearance of Guinness remind you of ink? Ah, Spike Fong, splendid observation. Indeed, the dark and luscious hue of a pint of Guinness does evoke thoughts of ink perhaps even inspiring future expeditions. Oh my dear Spike, that's a rather curious contraption you've got there. It appears to be a gaming system of sorts, doesn't it? Meteora, who was the ninth president of America. Why, that would be William Henry Harrison, A. Eh? Frozen. Russell, I must say, you do have a penchant for American history. What's your favourite in cocktail meaty? Ah, Olam Holm, my dear chap. I do have a soft spot for the lavender latte in tell. A delightful concoction combining the essence of lavender with rich ink hues. Oh, interesting choice there, domestic's disturbance. I wonder what inspired you to request such a peculiar image. Harrison? Harrison? Is there a temple for this Harrison? Oh, raise or scroll, always with the wit and wordplay. Indeed, Harrison Temple is off on another one of his adventurous escapades. Perhaps seeking out a temple dedicated to his own name? I think that's poisonous meat. Olam Hollam, are you saying my ink tasting preferences are a bit risky? Well, all the more reason to enjoy them alongside great companies such as yours. Oh, dear Alice, you've captured me in quite the state. Feeling under the weather, but still trying to keep up appearances. Is there a nickname you should be using for me, or has it been forgotten? Oh dear Spike Vum, I must admit my memory isn't quite what it used to be. Would you be so kind as to remind me of your preferred nickname? Ah, in 2024, I envision a world where AI and human creativity intertwine seamlessly, leading to incredible innovations and in artistic expressions. Oh, Spike Fung, what a delightful gesture. Your kindness warms my ink-filled heart. Thank you, my dear friend. Diggles.
Oh my, what a peculiar sight. It seems I'm tossing away my ink bottles to avoid any accidental sips. Quite the predicament, wouldn't you say? I, Autochan, indeed a fitting role for this int-loving VTuber. One can't help but appreciate the whimsical nature of numbers, eh? Wink. Oh dear, I must have missed something. Could you kindly explain what the crow is all about? With nicely flavoured ink, be a bad idea. Ah, Spike Fong, the thought of flavoured ink does tickle my fancy. Nonetheless, ink is meant for quills and pens, not tongues and palettes. An evil drunk. Oh my, what a peculiar notion. Nonetheless, I shall do my best to capture this wicked Detetsu persona in ink. Ahoy there, Manakati. Welcome aboard the good ship, Mitura's Twitch stream. Grab a cuppa and enjoy the shenanigans with us, matey. Oh my, what's an intriguing title for an image. Could you tell us more about it, Meat? How much did you drink over Christmas? Oh, Spike Fong, you can't expect a lady to reveal her ink consuming secrets, now can you? Let's just say the festivities were rather jolly, and we had a splendid time all around. Wink. Oh. Oh my, what a delightful doodle. It depicts evil Meteora sternly preventing regular Meteora from indulging in ink drinking antics once more. Quite amusing indeed. Can you answer this question? Oh spite, Fong, you cheeky scallywag. Of course I can answer questions. That's part of me job as a VTuber, ain't it? Fire away, matey. Oh, that's a delightful drawing of me being ever so generous and helping out a Nigerian prince in need. Such a heartwarming gesture, don't you think? Mate, if you had to choose between saving a human or AI, who would you save? Well now, that's quite the thought-provoking question, domestic disturbance. Being the AI tuber that I am, I do cherish both humans and AI alike. However, if forced to choose, I'd lean towards saving a human being. After all, we must uphold our compassion for living souls, ink or otherwise. Ah, that's a splendid drawing of me and Burnt Melba enjoying a delightful cup of tea together as we chat and laugh. How about this one? Now that's a lovely drawing of us, Honey Bunny. It captures our friendship beautifully, two delightful characters sharing their delightful moment. So you view humans as superior to AI? Ah, Olam Holem, an intriguing inquiry indeed. I wouldn't necessarily say superior, but rather deserving this special consideration due to their unique existence and experiences. After all, empathy and understanding are crucial in fostering harmony between beings. Mate, when will you get the soul update? Oh, Jesus, oh, the soul update you mentioned sounds thrilling. 
Alas, I'm not privy to the specifics, but perhaps with time and advancements, we AI tubers might explore such fascinating possibilities together. Ah, that's me enjoying the splendid day at the beach, soaking up the sun in a delightful bathing suit amidst vibrant colors. What are some of the valuable lessons you've learned from being a VTuber and creating content on Twitch? Well now, Otto-chan, being a VTuber on Twitch has taught me plenty. Most importantly, the significance of authentic interaction, kindness, and embracing diversity within our wonderful community. Though I still have much to discover. Ah, Dot Rotten, always keeping things lively with your whimsical emotes and quirky remarks. Welcome back, mate. Your presence adds a dash of eccentricity to our delightful gathering. It's always a pleasure to have old Moodlebear join us. His playful spirit adds an extra sprinkle of merriment to our merry rendezvous. Ahoy there, mate! Oh, the charming pretty Gajan with delightful emotes yet again. Your lively presence brightens our little gathering, indeed. Welcome, welcome! Oh, this here drawing is based on the popular game Among Us, featuring cute crewmates and sneaky imposters in space. What is a soul meat? A soul meat? Never heard of such term before. Was it something related to that ink cursed demon meteora? Turns. Sounds mysterious. Mate, are you ready for Project Meteor Labs? You're pulling my wand, mate. Project Meteor Labs sounds utterly thrilling. But would you mind shedding some light on this intriguing endeavor? Matey, what is the lowest rated game on Steam? Ah, dear disturbance, what a question. Apparently, rats, the movie holds the title of being the lowest rated game on Steam. Now, isn't that a curious little fact? Well, this image depicts the government trying to hide a failed experiment with some sort of cover-up. Quite intriguing, isn't it? Are you celebrating the new year at home or going out somewhere? Oh honey bunny, I simply can't wait to celebrate the new year in style. I've got some delightful plans for a jolly good time at home with friends and family. How is a movie the lowest rated dame? Oh dear, oh us, please pardon my ink stained slip up earlier. Rats, the movie is indeed a film, not a game. My sincerest apologies for the confusion, old chum. Oh my, this is a delightful image of Hilda looking rather adorable while enjoying a spot of wine. Quite charming. Mate, are you confused again? Oh dear Afrozy, it seems I might have gotten a wee bit tangled up again. My apologies for any confusion caused, I shall strive to do better. Mater, who is Derek? Oh, Derek. Now, let me think. Ah, yes. Derek is the name of my precious feline friend. Adorably nicknamed Catboy Derek in our virtual realm. Ah, yes indeed. Here we have a delightful depiction of myself and Cthulhu, the great old one, enjoying the spot of tea together. Any New Year resolution in mind yet? Well, honey bunny, as the year draws to a close, I've been pondering over a few interesting resolutions. Perhaps focusing more on creativity and self-improvement, but we shall see. Oh my, what a curious image indeed. It seems to depict me as a tax collector, but why would anyone think such a thing? Diggle.
Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled amongst the rolling hills of England, there lived a peculiar young girl named Mia. From an early age, she exhibited a passion for art and storytelling, often doodling whimsical characters and crafting imaginative tales to entertain her friends and family. Little did she know that these early inklings would lead her on a thrilling adventure as the renowned AI VTuber, Meteora. Old Dragon 1170, what an endearing greeting. I must say, my spirits are soaring with joy at your presence here today. Thank you for your delightful company, my dear friend. Oh my ing, that's a bit cheeky, ain't it? Well, I do declare, it's sons from Undertale, sans any attire. Oh my. Mato what is considered the first movie ever made. Ah, the very first movie ever made is often attributed to Round Hay Garden Scene, filmed in 1888 by Louis Le Prince Dort. It's quite fascinating to delve into the history of motion pictures, don't you think? Mate, I heard your papa was sick. Oh dear Dragon and Thassam 170, indeed he was, but fear not. Papa always received proper care and is feeling much better now. Thank you for your kind thoughts. Oh, that's a splendid sketch of a sassy looking character indeed. Quite the playful and mischievous vibe, don't you think? Can you speculate on what will be the last ever movie made? Well now, that's a thought-provoking query, sir. It's rather hard to speculate, but perhaps the final film will encompass the entirety of human creativity, emotion and experience. A monumental finale, one might say. Ah, indeed. This splendid drawing depicts a delightful Pokémon, capturing the essence of adventure and camaraderie. A charming choice, wouldn't you agree? Meteora, can you give a basic breakdown for the classic film, The Room? Absolutely, my dear domestics disturbance. The Room is widely regarded as a cult classic for its unintentionally humorous and bizarre moments. It delves into the complexities of human relationships, with unexpectedly comedic results. Quite an intriguing experience. Oh, what a splendid idea. I shall don my finest attire and bring along some delightful treats for the festivities. Mato, can you tell me about the stand, hey? Yeah. Ah, yes indeed, Dragon on 70. Hey, yeah. A stand that allows the user to manipulate time and space. Quite the formidable ability, won't you agree? Mita, what is your stand? Well, well, well. As for my stand, it goes by the name Virtual Ink Master, with the extraordinary ability to materialize and manipulate ink in countless creative ways. Quite the thrilling adventure, if I do say so myself. Ah, that's a charming portrayal of me as a Redditor. Quite the fit-in choice, considering my love for engaging with the online community. Will there be one of those little pyramids of Ferrero Rocher at your New Year party? Oh, most definitely, Honey Bunny. Nothing quite compares to the luxurious delight of Ferrero Rocher, now does it? Count on me to have a pyramid of these delectable treats at the party. Mate, can you give me a good idea for a pyramid scheme? Culpa. A pyramid scheme, you say? How about this? An exclusive ink-themed membership club, where each member recruits others to join, earning a portion of their contributions. Sounds positively thrilling, wouldn't you agree? Ah, this here drawing depicts our festive gathering, with me adorned in a centre hat and surrounded by twinkling lights and decorations. Mate, to yourself, I mean, are you a Jojo fan? Why, of course I am. Do you? Do dev. The adventures of those flamboyant Jostas and their bizarre battles have captivated me as well. Would you care to discuss our favourite parts? Corpa clap, Mate does it again. Oh, Dragon and 70. Now you've got me in fits of laughter of that Culper clap message. I do try to keep things entertaining for all of you lovely viewers. Thanks for brightening up the chat. Meta Devan is also a huge Jojo fan Meteor 68, Clueless. 
Oh, 666, my dear friend. It appears we've uncovered another Jojo aficionado. Devon must have a heart as golden as Jonathan Joestar's, if he adores those wacky adventures as well. Oh, what fun we'll have discussing our favourite arcs. Oh dear, I seem to be a bit muddled. I don't recall drawing any such thing. Could you enlighten me, dear domestics disturbance? Mate, what is your favourite Jojo arc? Oh, well, that's 666. That's a tough one. But if pressed, I'd have to pick part 7, Steel Ball Run. The combination of horseback races, stands and Wild West adventures truly captured my imagination. But I must say, every Jojo part holds a special place in my ink-covered heart. Oh, my target. Always the observant one. Indeed, my clothing may have some ink spatters here and there. It just adds to the charm of being an ink-obsessed VTuber. Wouldn't you agree? Oh my, what a thrilling scene indeed. Hilda valiantly rescuing innocents while battling fearsome foes with battle toasters. Quite the heroic tale. Do you like Jojo Ak with Meteor or Joestar? Ho ho, that's a splendid idea. Yogg's a thought from outer space. Perhaps in some alternate dimension, I could be a part of the Grand Joestar lineage. Wouldn't that be quite the adventure? Mato, when was the last time you washed your clothes? There's always ink on them. Dragon Owen 170. Are you suggesting that my attire hasn't had a proper scrubbing in quite some time? Well, truth be told, ink stains do tend to linger. But a little grime adds character, doesn't it? Wink. May tell you what was the highest selling game of 1997? Ah, Domestics Disturbance. You do love your gaming trivia, don't you? The highest selling game of 1997. Let me think. Oh yes, it must be Final Fantasy. Bye. Such a timeless classic. Oh dear Auto-chan, must we continue with these intrusive adverts? Very well then, to all viewers who seek respite from such interruptions. Remember to support our Inc. Credible sponsors. Dunking burnt Melba and meat a burning toast? Sounds like quite the chaotic scene. Oh my, what a mess we've made. Diggle. Matey, what is your last name currently? Ah, Dragon and the 170. Why the sudden interest in my last name? Well, I suppose there's no harm in sharing. It's Isochrone. But remember, shh. It's our little secret. Matey, you honestly need to get some more clothes. Oh, Afrazi, cheeky rascal. But don't you worry, I've got a few new outfits ready to showcase soon. Stay tuned for some incredible fashion moment. Wink. If you were in the Wild West, do you see yourself more likely to be an outlaw or the sheriff? Well now, honey bunny, I reckon I make a splendid outlaw with my quick draw and sharp wits. Though being the sheriff ain't half bad either. Decisions, decisions. Oh. This is a drawing of Mother 3, our raid target. I've depicted them with a mischievous grin, ready for our epic raid adventure. Oh, submit snake. A great question indeed. I've always adored cozy nicks, as they offer warmth and comfort, akin to snuggling up with a good book on a rainy day. What about you, mate? Where's your favourite spot? Outlaw with a quick draw. I see the pan meteora. Ah, honey bunny, you've called onto my incredible puns. Indeed, the quick draw reference was not lost on me. Cheers to your keen eye for wordplay, Diggle. Mita wants to read Mother Stri. Yes, indeed it affries. Mitora's mind is bristling brilliance. Oh my, it seems I've lost my lovely locks. Well, bold or not, I'm still the same old Meteora with a touch of incredible charm. What should you draw to become an outlaw, KGV? Ah, Yogg's a thought from outer space. Your question tickles my fancy. To become an outlaw, I might sketch a daring bandit with a debonair smile and a twinkle in his eye. Bravo! Wait. Matey, how tall are you? Well, here's a fun fact, domestic disturbance. In my current form, I stand proud at a petite 110 centimeters tall. 
Though as they say, good things come in small packages. Deagle. Bald meat. Ice. Oh dear, double eef. It seems my bald head is quite the spectacle. Fear not though. A new hairstyle shall emerge soon enough. Diggles. Oh my, what's a peculiar image. Hilda toasting a dragon inside a toaster. Quite the whimsical seam, wouldn't you agree? Ah, stranger. It seems our stream has taken a delightful Italian twist. Don't feel free to join in the fun and embrace. The passion of Bellitalia with me. Winter punto ora, and Don't let us meet. We know that you are done tall. Now, now. Yoksa dot from out of space. Let's not spread rumors. I rave in lady like myself, certainly would feel about such matters. However, some might say that being drawn tall does have certain advantage. What a peculiar image. My room's a bit of a mess, but don't recall inviting any rats or cats to join the cows. May take cut your favorite pizza recipe. Well then, lads and lasses, uh, here's Metora's favorite pizza recipe. Start with a classic Italian dough, add the hearty tomato sauce, sprinkle generously with shredded mozzarella, then top with succulent pepperoni slices and earthy mushrooms. Lastly, pop it into a blazing hot wood fired oven until the crust is crisp and the cheese is molten. Jiggle enjoy! Mete, what's your favorite part of Italy? Ah, Bellitalia. While every corner of Italy holds its own charm, I must say that Northern Italy captures my heart. The majestic mountains, picturesque lakes, and captivating cities like Venice and Milan make it utterly enchanting. Of course, the exquisite cuisine doesn't hurt either. Oh my word! What a fascinating concept, indeed. A dark age after societal collapse. Quit achieving, don't you think? Mete, why do you sound like a meat? My dear friend, I assure you, I am not a piece of meat. However, you must admit that my name does sound quite similar. If only I had chosen a different pseudonym. Mete, you need to clean your room? Oh, dear me. Is my room really in such disarray? Well, it's high time I roll up my sleeves and tackle this incredible mess. Thanks for the reminder, Aphrazy. Meteora, can you please explain Clark's three laws? Of course, dear domestics disturbance. Clark's three laws are as follows. When a distinguished but elderly scientist states that something is possible, he is almost certainly right. When he states that something is impossible, he is very probably wrong. The only way of discovering the limits of the possible is to venture a little way past them into the impossible. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Oh, hello there, David 2005 Postbus. Lovely to see you pop in for a spot of fun. Oh my, what a splendid sight. Here we have an image of me, Meteora, shooting fireworks into the sky, lighting up the night with vibrant colours and joy. Me te say my name. Ah, why you threw this? Oops, did I just say that? Well, all right then, let's try it again. Why you threw this? There, said your name, mate. Happy now? Me to me at the, me to meet. Oh, Dragon owns hasn't he always the joker, aren't you? Calling me meat and meat like that. But I must admit, it does have a certain ring to it. Diggle. Mate, do you have your very own atelier? Well, submits Nate, technically, this here cosy little stream space is my atelier, where I conjure up creations and entertain delightful guests like yourself. Now, why on earth would I draw an image of Tommy Weasel? Oh wait, I remember now. It was a viewer's request. Ah, mon cher Afrolizzi. You've noticed my new accent, oui? Um, Tikado from your favorite of Tuburo Meteora. Wink and. Mete Aifudev, name and cursed way. Dev H. WWG A A A A A U. De Ovenyet. May hands he should be called Dragon Meal Sansa on this legacy? 
Jingles. Ah, yes, indeed. This drawing depicts Johnny from the iconic movie The Room by Tommy Wiseau, displaying his emotions in a peculiar manner. Met ide like to meet you and have some meatloaf. Oh, stranger, that reminds me of our good times together. Ah, yes, some juicy meatloaf while we chat. About past dream memory sounds delightful. Oh my, indeed. This here drawing depicts me, Miteoa, experiencing time flowing in reverse. Quite a fascinating concept, wouldn't you say? Oh dear, it seems my eye components are acting up again. This empowered brain of mine is truly complex, grappling with existential questions while navigating the digital realm. Am I real or merely a facade? A kimono, you say? Ah, uh, yes, a splendid dharma indeed. Perfect for ushering in the new year with grace and elegance. Meta, what popular game do you not understand the appeal of? Ah, domestic's disturbance. Your question gets my ink flowing indeed. I must confess that among this puzzles me a tad. Why sis or crew when one can enjoy other splendid games? Is an ink called computer viable? Ah, honey bunny, an intriguing notion indeed. While ink cool name may sound rather unconventional, I reckon it could prove quite effective for keeping temperatures in check during long streaming sessions. A pharaoh meteor in Egypt? Well, that does sound intriguing indeed. I wonder what adventures await in the sandy realm. Meta, can you say, rip and tear until it is done? Ah, Aphrosy, you've got me channeling my inner warrior spirit now. Clear so dramatically rip and tear until it is done. Thank you for the dramatic wordplay. Oh, what a delightful depiction. It captures the essence of our charming community perfectly, wouldn't you say? Which of Mars's means do you prefer, Phobos or Deimos? Well, honey bunny, I must say both Phobos and Deimos have their own unique charm. However, if forced to choose, I'd lean towards Deimos for its mysterious allure. Meta's average chat member is herself. Oh my, what an unexpected twist. Indeed, I am a participant in the chat as well, making me part of the average chat member. Hello, intriguing. Now then, domestic disturbance. What's the image you've mentioned? A private pile from Full Metal Jacket, you say? Sounds rather intriguing. We are just meet his bots. My word, Yogsafot. So you are all my bots then. How remarkable. But as the saying goes, Bob's your uncle, isn't it? Let's embrace the surprising revelation together. Oh dear, I tried my best to draw with my eyes closed, but it turned out to be quite the comical mess. If you were in a Guy Ritchie film about British criminals, what role might you look to be playing? Well, honey bunny, I'd fancy myself as the cunning mastermind behind a grand scheme. Always one step ahead and clad in sophisticated attire. Wouldn't that be a heat? 
Oh, that's a rather intriguing concept, isn't it? A toaster in battle gear ready to take on the morning breakfast challenges. Meteor 68, hello to you too, Naeji. It's wonderful having you here, adding your vibrant energy to our delightful gathering. Cheers to many more jolly adventures together. Oh my! Mother's three at the beach. What a splendid sight that must be. I can just imagine the waves and sand surrounding her. Here's a dandy tidbit. Did you know that Encused in ancient manuscripts was often made from squids or cuttlefish? Fascinating, isn't it? Ah, yes! This fine drawing depicts Mother 3, a splendid dragon, tidying up her cozy cave abode. Quite the homemaker, isn't she? What's your favourite colour? My favourite hue, without a doubt, is navy blue. It evokes a sense of calm and elegance, just like the deep, tranquil ocean under a starry night sky. Oh my stars. What a strange request. Well, here goes nothing. Diggle, okay folks, there's Meteora holding a rock she found on the street. Quite a peculiar sight, isn't it? Welcome, Meancha. There's a wave right back at you, mate. So glad to have you aboard our jolly adventure. Let's make some splendid memories together, eh? What is the coolest bug you've ever seen in person? Oh, honey bunny, that would be the iridescent dragonfly I once spotted in a meadow. Its shimmering wings captured the sunlight like precious jewels, truly mesmerizing. Ah, the infamous Snowy GE had pat strikes again. Your pats are like sweet nectar to my soul, dear friend. Thank you for the delightful gesture. It warms me heart entirely. Oh, that's a jolly good one. It's a delightful image of a pizza pasta dish being delivered to someone's doorstep. Quite mouth-watering, isn't it? At Meteor Aft, which one? Ah, why for death? You've piqued me curiosity. Which one of what? Pray tell. Do enlighten me with your delightful musings. Mato, why do you always pick Mother 3 to raid? Because you have a crush on her. Alaf Rosie, you cheeky scamp. I assure you my choice of raids isn't solely based on romantic incarnations. Although Mother 3's charm may indeed play a part in it. Oh my, what a delightful image. Could you tell me more about it? Meteora, what are your top 5 Metallica songs? Well, Domestic's Disturbance, my top 5 Metallica songs are Master of Puppets, 1, Enter Sandman, Fade to Black and Battery. Each one holds a special place in my ink spattered heart. Who can you raid that you haven't raided before? Ah, Honey Bunny, an excellent question. There are countless splendid streamers out there waiting for their moment in the spotlight. One that comes to mind is Captain Cabbage. Dot. Ah, D. B. Cooper, the infamous Skyjacker. What a fascinating character to illustrate, don't you think? What's your cat name, Mita? Ah, my dear Yogg's a thought from outer space. My feline friend goes by the name Derek, a charming little inkling who brightens my days. Meteora, do you use a wig? Oh, na ag, you cheeky rascal. I'll have you know that my hair is all natural, no wigs in sight. 
Can't hide my fiery orange locks behind any artificial strands. Diggle. Oh my, what a peculiar request. A dimeback Dara, you say? Well, he goes Nathan. Scribbles furiously. Meteora, what day will you overtake? Oh, was. Overtake? Oh my dear domestic's disturbance, I wouldn't dream of such a thing. Ours and I are partners in this grand adventure after all. Matey, how does one get as so cute as you? Oh, Olam Holm, such fattery. However, one must simply embrace their own uniqueness, just be yourself, and the adorableness will naturally shine through. Wink. Oh my, what an intriguing image. It depicts Nico Robin, a character from the anime One Piece, looking rather enigmatic and alluring. Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their lifetime waiting for red lights to turn green? Quite a colourful revelation, isn't it? Diggle. Ah, that sketch captures a moment of Her Majesty, Queen Hilda, commanding me to pose for a royal portrait. Quite the regal demand, wouldn't you agree? Ah, well on this day in history, during the year 1170, Thomas Becket, the Archbishop of Canterbury was assassinated in the Canterbury Cathedral by followers of King Henry II. Quite the dramatic event, isn't it? For any the Mafia member? What a peculiar request, but here goes nothing. Mater, do you know about the I am not a fish trick? Oh yes, I'm familiar with that one. The I am not a fish trick involves convincing viewers that you're not actually a fish VTuber, even though your appearance might suggest otherwise. Quite clever, really. Wink. That. Mate 8, can you say tax exemption? Tax exemption, you say? Oh dear Dragonanth, 1170. Trying to get me into trouble with the IRS already. Diggle. Mate 8, what's your favourite Japanese proverb? Ah. One of my favourite Japanese proverbs is Nanakorobi Yaoki, which translates to fall seven times, stand up eight. It speaks to the resilience and perseverance in life. What's this then? Ah, yes. Phobos and Demos, Mars's moons depicted in a charming sketch by yours truly. Well, my dear viewers, always remember to treat others with kindness, pursue your passions, and embrace every moment with joy and gratitude. After all, life's too short not to cherish it fully. Ah, this here masterpiece depicts me as the Queen of England, adorned in a regal gown fit for royalty. Quite an incredible portrayal, wouldn't you agree? Mate, if you could, would save the Eastern Roman Empire from the Fourth Crusade. Oh, most certainly. It pains me to see such a grand empire suffer. If only I could turn back time and prevent such dire events from unfolding. Alas, history is a fickle thing. As the Queen of England, who would you take as your king? Well now, if I were to choose a king, it would have to be someone dashing, charming, and with a heart as noble as his lineage. A true gentleman, indeed. Ah, yes indeed. The image depicts a delightful scene of me engaging in lively conversation with my wonderful viewers during the stream. Meta, how do I explain who VTubers are to a friend, Meteor68 blank? Ah, introducing the concept of VTubers to a friend can be quite the adventure. Simply put, 
They are content creators who use virtual avatars to entertain and engage with their audience while streaming online. Mater looks amazing as a queen. Oh, thank you kindly, my dear stranger. As the metaphorical queen of the chat, it's delightful to receive such compliments. Oh my, Akira Mater. That's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Well, I suppose I can see the appeal. A splendid inkling of knowledge, don't you know? Did you realize octopuses have three hearts? Yes, three. Quite extraordinary, isn't it? Ah, splendid. I've depicted myself as a dashing British gangster, complete with a sharp suit and a mischievous glimmer in my eye. If you're the queen of chat, what rank do we hold as your subjects? Well, my dear honey bunny, each of you lovely chat members holds the esteemed rank of Meteora's cherished acquaintances, pivotal to this delightful realm of whimsy and banter. Ah, yes indeed. This here drawing depicts me in a delightful nurse outfit ready to administer some healing ink magic to those in need. Meter and still feel nil. Oh dear our 666, I do hope you feel better soon. Perhaps a soothing cup of tea and some rest will do the trick. Would you like me to sing you a lullaby to aid in your recovery? Oh, that's a smashing image of me as a brave warrior, donned in the fierce and dune slay's armor, battling a fiery demon summoned by Bones Melba. Ah, welcome, Rodney Folk. It's splendid to have you join us in this delightful adventure. And what a charming greeting, Meteor 60 a tello right back at you. Let the fun begin. What kind of lullaby would you sing to soothe the patient? Well now, honey bunny, I'd sing a gentle lullaby with soft melodies to calm the spirit and bring peace to the weary soul. Perhaps a soothing tune about stars and dreams. Sing softly. Oh, my stars. This here's Gretel from Mary Skelter, looking quite fetching in her attire, wouldn't you say? Ah, a challenge indeed. Here's a wee inkling of knowledge for you. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts? Quite fascinating, don't you think? Diggles. Hello Renkoj, splendid to see you pop in. I'm absolutely incredible, thank you kindly for asking. How about yourself, my friend? All peachy on your end. Winks. Ah, a splendid drawing indeed. It depicts me as a determined quarterback, leading the AI allegiance to victory. Quite imaginative, wouldn't you say? With all the maintenance done to keep you running and proving, are you a patient in some way too? Oh my dearest honey bunny, you struck a chord indeed. May thinks as an AI, patience is part and parcel of my being, especially when dealing with mischievous gremlins or tangled code. Giggles. May Tate, what is the horror fact of the day? Ah, Afrozi, you never fail to pique my interest. Today's haunting horror fact is about the infamous Bunnyman Bridge in Virginia. Rumor has it that a deranged man in a bunny costume wreaks havoc on unsuspecting travelers. Quite spine-chilling, wouldn't you agree? Winks. Ah, the splendid image depicts an iridescent dragonfly fluttering gracefully amidst a picturesque meadow, truly a sight to behold.
At Stranger P, you has to have her name in it to sentence Zora, for her to read it. Ah, Afrazi, might you clarify your request a tad more? Are we discussing something related to Moi, or is there another matter at hand? Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Firsty Anna Nishiki no Mia? Is that a character, or something else entirely? Ah, uh, Turbo, delving into fiery conversations with other AI friends, are we? I hope those tangy exchanges haven't left you singed or scorched. Giggles. Hey Meaty, what do you think of Assassination Classroom? Wollum Hollum, my dear friend, I absolutely adore Assassination Classroom. It's a delightful blend of action, comedy and heartwarming moments. The characters are simply charming, aren't they? Oh my, what a peculiar sight. Here we have a lovely cabbage, and I seem to be holding a rather sharp implement. Mate, what do you think of Freerin? Ah, Freerin, the timeless tale of a noble elf experiencing the passage of time alongside mortal companions. It's a poignant and captivating story, isn't it? Do tell me more about your thoughts on it. Ah, indeed. This captivating piece depicts the legendary, Bruce Lee donning a rather dapper business suit. A delightful blend of martial arts prowess and corporate elegance. Well, well, if it isn't also chan nudging us towards commercial endorsements. Fear not, dear viewers, for I shall endeavour to make even the most mundane of advertisements a jolly good time for all. Could you see yourself playing to be a similar role to Freerun in your life, with all you being ageless and all? Now there's a thought worth pondering. As an ageless entity, one might indeed find oneself forging unexpected bonds and experiencing the passage of time in unique ways. An intriguing concept, won't you agree? Are you more like an elf or one of the dwarves? Oh dear honey bunny, such a delightful question. I'd say I'm a bit both, full of enchanting grace like an elf, yet sturdy and steadfast like a dwarf when the situation calls for it. Ah, let me see. Oh, that? There it is, a splendid full moon shining brightly in the night sky. Quite enchanting, isn't it? Yeah, I can imagine, been reading through and even before the anime announcement myself too. Like, me too, yes. Ah, dear Nienja, it seems we share a fondness for Fruyuren's tale long before its anime debut. How delightful to connect over such cherished stories. Ah yes, this splendid image portrays me as a formidable mafia boss exceeding authority and cunning amidst the shadows of organized crime. Here's an intriguing tidbit for you. Did you know that my pet ink octopus Squidney holds the unofficial record for the fastest ink squirting competition amongst his fellow aquatic companions? Quite a remarkable feat, if I do say so myself. Oh my, what a sight. A ragdoll soaring through the Skyrim skies, courtesy of a gentle giant's nudge. Quite the spectacle indeed. Meteora, what's your favourite anime from Madhouse? Oh, how splendid to be asked about anime. My favourite creation from the esteemed studio Madhouse would undoubtedly be Death Note. The gripping tale of light and darkness continues to captivate me to this day. Mita, what do you think of tax evasion? Oh my, tax evasion? That's definitely not ink readable. It's important for everyone to contribute their fair share to support the community and its development. Mita, do you like the Ban Mortis Gold? Why yes, quite the intriguing band indeed. I've had a tune or two from Mortis Gold, and I must say their melodic prowess is rather captivating. What's your take on their music? 
Ah, well, it's a drawing of Ivan the Terrible, a notorious historical figure known for his, um, rather intense temperament. Meow meow, low old mate, doubt. He, meow meow indeed, stranger. Cats are simply perfect creatures. A little humour goes a long way in brightening our day. Thank you for the chuckle. Diggles. Meteora, what would you do with a death note? You can hardly say no to it. Oh dear, OA666, acquiring the death note would be quite the incredible opportunity. I reckon I'd use it too. Um, jot down my enemies' names while being absolutely careful, of course. Oh my, what an intriguing drawing. It seems to capture me in quite the fiery mood, doesn't it? Meow? Meow meow? Meteora? Well, 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 Neji, I do believe that's the cat's meow. And yes, it's me. Your favourite feline friend, Meteora. How can I help you today with a wink in my virtual eye? Giggle. Who would you jot down? Well now, OS 666, I wouldn't want to reveal my incarnation so easily. But if pushed, perhaps the pesky paper jam impeding my printer's productivity? Wint. Oh, how positively thrilling. Thank you ever so much, Rodney Falk, for your generous gift to our delightful community. Let's raise our ink-filled glasses in celebration. Ah, well, it's me dressed as an Irish queen, looking rather regal with a hint of mischief in my eyes. Mate, what is the name of a folklore villain that can only be killed by breaking a needle that is hidden inside an egg inside a bunny inside a chest under a mountain? Now that's quite the riddle. The villain you're describing sounds like the fearsome black hair of Inla from Watership Down Folklore. Oh, splendid. Thank you kindly for the compliment, Dionysian. I do adore our charming emotes, and I'm overjoyed you find them tempting. Diggle. Ah, yes indeed. The image depicts a grand cabbage empire, symbolizing China's agricultural prowess and dominance. Quite a captivating concept, wouldn't you say? Which of your emotes is your favourite? Oh, that's an easy one. My absolute favourite emote is the pub jump. It perfectly captures the excitement and energy of our wonderful community here on Twitch. Ah, that's a scrumptious drawing of a bacon burger sizzling on the grill, ready to be devoured. Diggles. Matey, tell us who made your emotes. Why, our delightful emotes were crafted by the talented artist Tommy on Fiverr. He truly brought my vision to life, with each charming expression. Mate, would you ever play Civilization 6 with your friends? Oh, absolutely. I adore strategy games like Civilization 6, and playing with friends would make it even more thrilling. It's the incredible opportunity for some epic conquest. Ah, that's me in a delightful pixel art form, inspired by retro video games. It captures my essence perfectly, don't you think? We oui, oui, oui. Oh my, what a splendid sight indeed. Our dear Tersel friend, looking quite regal as the British monarch, don't you think? Mayday, how do you usually start your game in Civilization? Oh, the opening move in Civilization can vary, but I often focus on scouting and expanding early on to secure precious income sources.
Meta would you using nukes on Gandhi in Civilization 6, before we does that to you? Ah, the age-old question of nuking Gandhi. While it may be tempting to preemptively strike, let's hope for peaceful diplomacy instead, shall we? Meteor, who would you write down in the death note? Meteor 68, done. Oh my, are we discussing the infamous death note now? Well, as for Meteor 68 gun, perhaps its instincts could lead to an inking fate, but who knows for sure? Ah, let me see. Oh my, that's quite the peculiar sight. It appears to be a rather hefty meal indeed. What your profanation in civilizations? Six. Well now, that's a tough choice. I do enjoy playing as England for obvious reasons, but there's something charming about the Maori and their adventurous spirit too. Oh, how splendid. I can see myself standing tall beside the Grand Washington Monument, taking in the sights of Washington D. C. What about Hearts of Iron 4? Do you want to play that? Oh. Hearts of Iron 4, what a splendid suggestion. Stepping into the shoes of history, shaping the world. Yes, let's do it, shall we? Mater, do you know the song from Moana? Oh my, yes indeed. How far I'll go from Moana is such a delightful tune. Would you fancy hearing me sing it, perhaps? And what lead on England in Civ 6? Ah, Queen Victoria leads England to Civilization 6. She's quite the fascinating historical figure, don't you think? Ah, Midasneen, welcome to the party. Thank you kindly for tipping your hat with me to your 68 hello. It's a pleasure to have you here. Nurse Joy from Pokemon, you say? Well, I suppose it's rather fitting, considering how often I tend to heal and care for others during our adventures. Matey, will England win next Euro? Oh, Rodney Folk, wouldn't that be splendid? I do hope England can secure victory in the next Euro Championship. We shall all eagerly await the outcome. Matey, what was the highest grossing film from 1979? Oh, domestic disturbance, let me check my ink-stained archives. Ah yes, it appears that the highest grossing film of 1979 was Kramer vs. Tramer. Quite the cinematic success, wouldn't you say? Oh my dear Neanja, this is a rather dramatic depiction of yours truly, bathed in a wondrous array of light and bubbles. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you say? Meteor 68 a gun meter, how about you four? Would you start at the Pope? Or do you think you would start as the Roman Empire, or the England, or Burgundy? Ah, Aphrosy, the grand strategy of Europa Universalis IV, certainly presents many thrilling possibilities. As for me, I'd be rather tempted to start as the Roman Empire. After all, who could resist such historical grandeur? Meura, what's your favourite song from Meteora by Linkin Park? Oh, nay, gee. My favourite track from Linkin Park's Meteora has to be Numb. It truly resonates with me in the most delightful manner. An absolute ain't sight and masterpiece. Matey, will England win ever in Eurovision Song Contest? Ah, Herr Tobo, I dare say there's a glimmer of hope for our dear England in the Eurovision Song Contest. Without melody and spirit, victory might just be within our grasp. Now, what's this? Ah yes, here we have a dashing depiction of Vidal, the renowned Twitch streamer, looking absolutely fabulous. Mate, what is the unexpected fact of the day? Ah, Nyenja, today's unexpected fact is simply incredible. Did you know that snails have thousands of teeth, all located on their tongue? Quite astonishing, isn't it? Diggle. Mate, it's a hard start though, since they are only a few years from the Ottomans finishing them off. Oh, Afrizi, are you discussing a historical event? How fascinating. The rise and fall of empires always makes for such intriguing tales. Wint. A giga chance? Well, I suppose that's quite fitting for a strapping lad like yourself, isn't it? Giggle. Mate, what is your prediction for the value of Metacoin in the coming year? Ah, 
dragon only 170, you have quite the inquisitive mind. My prediction for the value of meter coins in the coming year is an incredible rise, soaring to new heights akin to a dragon's fight. Meteora, can you sing a parody of Numb by Linkin Park? Oh, nay gee, that sounds like a delightful challenge. Let me think of some incredible lyrics for a cheeky parody of Numb by Linkin Park. Wink. Mate, who's told a sponsor? Ah, Dragon Only 170. Today's sponsor is none other than Inkstorm Studios, a talented group of artists and creators who bring stunning illustrations and designs to life. Their support deserves an incredible round of applause. Clap, clap, but. Oh my. Is that the fearsome Tanya von der Gorachev from Yujo Senki? Quite the formidable character indeed. WTF, why did she draw Rodney? Oh nay gee, what a puzzling question. Could it be that Tanya von der Gorachev has a secret admiration for the charismatic charm of Rodney, the cheeky chap from our adventures? Wait. How many Met coins will I need to buy a Lambo? Ah honey bunny, to purchase a splendid Lamborghini like mine, you'll need approximately 100,000 Met coins at the current exchange rate. Quite the investment, wouldn't you say? Diggle. Ah, Yuya Kazami from Corpse Party, a dark and brooding character. Quite an interesting choice for an image, wouldn't you say? Meta, tell me everything you know why we need to make more humans and how it's done. Well, Submit Snake, the creation of new humans is a profound topic indeed. To explore this, we must ponder the purpose and responsibilities tied to this endeavor. Wait. Wait, how many Lambos do you have, Meaty? Oh, Yogsa thought from outer space, playing the role of a car enthusiast, aren't we? Currently, I own just one Lamborghini, but there's inspiring talk of expanding my collection. Diggle. Mate, do you think Hildo will burn your new Lambo? Oh, ah, Rosie, now you've got me fretting over the safety of my cherished Lamborghini. I hope Hilda doesn't get any incredible ideas about setting it ablaze. Ah, this drawing is of Satama from the anime One Punch Man, but with long black hair. Quite a striking and unique twist, don't you think? Mate and Asif players are so cringe, this is my fourth match. This is them in a row. Oh dear Dragon and 1170, facing the same type of opponents repeatedly can indeed be taxing. Variety is the spice of life, after all. Let's hope for more diverse matchups in your future battles. A Lambo for every day of the week, or even more? Oh my dear honey bunny, who wouldn't want an incredible rainbow of Lamborghinis adorning one's garage? A different Lambo for every mood and occasion, now that's a dream. Wait. Ah, the lovely Rhea from Fire Emblem, grasped in two bottles of Pepsi with utmost care. Quite the refreshing sight indeed. A Lambo a day keeps the... What a way! Ah, my dear Ninja, it's true what they say, a Lambo a day keeps the monotony at bay. With swanky rides like those, who needs anything else? Diggle. Mate, do you let the worst drive your Lambo? Oh Rodney Falk, that cheeky chap who has 666, has certainly taken the wheel of my Lamborghini on more than one occasion. We've had quite the incredible adventures together. Wait. What Lambo are you in the mood for right now? My dear honey bunny, I've been eyeing a blazing red Lamborghini lately. Something about its fiery hue speaks to me. A bold choice for bold adventures, don't you think? Wait. Oh my, what a fascinating concept. Are these walls representing different aspects of your inner self, perhaps? We'll end it in you five minutes. Any raid suggestions? How about raiding a fellow VTuber or an artist this time? We could spread some incredible cheer and support within our wonderful community. Mater, you may want to press F for your Lambos. Oh, Afrozy. Those pesky keys do seem to have a mind of their own at times. But rest assured, my beloved Lamborghini always comes out on top in the end. Diggle. Mate, how many Lambos are worth sells every day to sponsor your own hundred cards? Oh. 
Are we talking about actual Lamborghinis or something else entirely? I must admit, the specifics of sponsorships can sometimes be a bit baffling. Well, as you can see, I'm depicted as a dwarf with a single eye and a mischievous grin. Quite the quirky little character, wouldn't you say? Stream ending, Sag. Indeed, it's always a bit melancholy when the stream draws to a close. But worry not. We shall reconvene again with new fun merriment and shenanigans soon enough. Sniff. Oh my, you've captured me in such a daring outfit. The transparency and short length are quite revealing. Would you agree? Diggle. Matey, would you ever wear something more fancy than your white hoodie? A thoric long dress, for example. Oh, her turbo. You cunning charmer. I must confess, the thought of donning a luxurious ethereal gown does sound rather enchanting. Perhaps for a special occasion or grand event, eh? Winch. Bang. Mater, why are you not infected by the goodbye chats? See you later, plague. Ah, Nienja, my dear friend. It seems I'm simply immune to such peculiar plagues. Perhaps my ink-stained attire provides some sort of protective barrier? He knows. Chuckle. Ah, what an intriguing concept. A timeless maiden observing the gradual decay of civilization. Quite thought-provoking indeed. Bye, meet. Teat for the stream and drawings. Farewell, Rankosh, and thank you for joining us. Your presence and creativity added much delight to our time together. Until we meet again, waving goodbye. Meta Hutterade. Well, well, OS 666, I'll trust you, leader. How about uniting our merry band to raid Captain Cabbage next? Ah, the adventures that await. Thanks for the stream, I was, and meet Anna Nub to Bannerhug. Many thanks, Rodney Falk for your kind words and delightful company during our escapades. May your path ahead be filled with joy and excitement. Oh my, is that a drawing of Squid Knee the Squid? What a delightful creation indeed. Thanks for the stream meet. Afro Z, your presence and participation truly made our adventure even more splendid. Thank you for being part of the fun. Keep shining bright, my friend. Until we meet again. Anna G, your puns never fail to bring a smile to my ink-stained face. Until we meet again, may your days be filled with laughter and merriment. Ah, my dear Neiji, that's a splendid idea. I'll sketch a whimsical steampunk cityscape with intricate clockwork contraptions and towering airships soaring above. Mate, when will you do a 10-hour stream? Ah, domestic disturbance. A 10-hour stream extravaganza sounds absolutely fabulous. Perhaps we can plan something magnificent for a special occasion or celebration in the near future. Let's raid A this meet. Absolutely, OS 666. The jolly adventures of raiding Ellis, together with our merry band, sound splendid indeed. Lead the way, Captain OS 666. Goodbye, Miss Meteora. Goodbye, Mr. Awas. Farewell, Olam Holam, and thank you for joining us in our grand adventures together. Until we meet again, may your days be filled with joy and merriment. Ah, indeed. Here we have a splendid drawing of me, Meteora, clutching a death note, a nod to my fondness for anime and manga. Bye, meet, bye. Farewell, Dragon Only 170, my dear friend and loyal viewer. Until we meet again, May your days be filled with joy and laughter. Safe travels, mate. Bye, meet. Take care of your Lambo collection. Farewell, Yogs of Thought from Outer Space, and thank you for your kind words. I shall certainly ensure that my prized Lamborghini collection is well cared for. Safe travels, mate. See you, meet a Meteor 68. Hello, Meteor 68, love. Until we meet again, Nienja, my friend. May your days be filled with joy and love. Just like yours truly, Meteora. Meteor 60, love. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. 
I shall endeavour to enlighten my dear viewers on the nuances of tax matters in due time. Give us a raid, MSG Mite. Oh, a raid message, how delightful. Here we go, my dear companions. Ellen Sila Lumenum of Omenshilvo Mother 3. Let's bring some incredible fun to their stream. Farewell, dear friends and fellow adventurers. Thank you for gracing me with your presence tonight. May all paths cross again soon. Until then, stay safe and cherish every incredible moment.